I'm Ryan Giese and I'm here at New Haven High School where they're having their annual blood drive. Soon we'll hand it over and talk to a couple of students and a couple of staff members to check out their experience this year. I'm here with Stephanie Fox who actually just finished donating blood. Stephanie, how did you feel after donating blood? I felt amazing because I was able to give back to the community. Uh, was this your first time do ever donating blood? Yes, it was. And um, would you ever do it again? I would. And what's the best part about doing this? Knowing that you're helping someone else. You heard it from Stephanie Fox. She had a great experience and so did I. And I'm here with Mr. Monahan. Mr. Monahan, do you always donate when the Red Cross comes to New Haven High School? No, I usually go out to the Red Cross Center. Do you usually donate several times a year then? I try to. Sometimes I forget. I usually do it in the summer and maybe during spring break. And what do you find as the most positive thing about donating blood? Why do you do it? Chocolate chip cookies. He's in it for the food, everybody. And do you ever have any symptoms? Actually, they take your blood pressure. And there is something good in that. And my dad told me they won't take your blood. They won't. You can't give blood if you don't have the right blood pressure. So it's a good medical checkup. That's what he told me. It's very good. So he, Saves money at the same time. That's why he gave blood. <laughs> And you've heard it from Mr. Monahan, everybody. Thanks, Mr. Monahan. You're welcome. I'm here with Levi Francois. Levi, is this your first time donating blood? Yes, it is. What made you decide to donate blood? Uh, all my friends were talking about it, and they were all signing up, so I decided to sign up and donate. Are you nervous about it, about donating blood for the first time? Not at all. He's not nervous. He's going to feel accomplished. Thanks, Levi. I'm here with Casey Paris, who's doing the double red donation. Casey, what's that mean that you're doing the double red donation? It means you give double the blood cells. Um, I assume since it regular helps three people, that this will help six? I hope so. That's the plan. Uh, have, you, have you, ever since they stuck that needle in you, have you felt funny or weird? Any symptoms or signs? Keep it fully hydrated. And I see that they have music playing back here for you. Does it seem content? Are you content with the selections? I am. It's not like the elevator music playing there. It's good music over here. It's not like his iPod, he says, but he's enjoying it. Do you enjoy it? Is this your first time donating? This is my first time. It's his first time. Will you ever do it again? I will do it again. He'll do it again and save, save lives. Casey Paris, everyone. I'm here with Josh from the Red Cross, and I'm going to ask him a few questions. Josh, how many units are you guys expecting to get from us today? Well, we're expecting to get about 85. And how well on do you think you guys are towards your goal? Uh, I think we made it. <laughs> he thinks we made it. Um, what's your favorite part about working with the Red Cross? Well, with the Red Cross, you know, you get to travel all over the state of Indiana. Our region goes from the Michigan line all the way down to about Indianapolis and then all the way over to the Illinois state line and seven counties in Ohio as well. So different faces every day, different people to see and a different place. Yeah, it sounds very interesting. And what are they going to do with all this blood that they get today? Where does it go after that leaves the high school? Well, what's going to happen is it's going to get loaded on a truck and it's going to go back to our main regional center in Fort Wayne right across from the Coliseum. From there it'll get loaded onto a truck and sent to Cleveland. Um, that's where the actual blood components go. The tubes will get sent to Detroit. What happens is Cleveland will actually process all the units, break them down into their components, and then await the test results which are sent to Cleveland from Detroit. All right, and how much blood do you guys go through a day? How much blood is needed for our, our need is about 600 units every single day. And so, do you guys ever have a problem meeting that? Um, it depends on the days. Uh, if you remember back last month, we had those uh, those blizzards that came through, and we had tremendous need during those times because we weren't able to collect any units at all. So, you know, those 600. I think over the nation we were 18,000 units behind. So. All right. Um, sounds like it's a very interesting job, and you heard it from Josh. Thanks, Josh. No problem. Thank you. I'm here with Mr. Myers, head of student council, and Mr. Myers, how do you think the blood drive went today? Well, with the exception of falling behind an hour and a half today, in some places two hours, we've been pretty successful. At uh, as of 12:30, we had only eight deferrals. And that's, uh, we're probably uh, half of what we were last year. That's pretty good then. Do you think it goes successful when the student council runs the blood drive like they do? I do because it's putting the students out in front and it's kind of showing the importance of us giving back to our community, especially with what's been going on with today with Japan and all of our 
floods and tidal waves and everything else we get hit with. Now, I remember the Red Cross usually came twice a school year. How come they only came once this year? Uh, last year we made a decision as a staff and, and even through our student council that it was better off if we go down to one, put more of an emphasis on one, and really push to get a big one. And so next year we're going to have to even go up by another 40, 40 students. Do you think there are more people that signed up than the years before then this year? No, we were about normal. I had to close the sign-ups off. Normally we sign up about 120. This year we signed 114, so we had to cut it off. So that's why I say next year we're going to go bigger. All right, you heard it from Mr. Myers. Thanks, everybody.